प्रभु आज के इस सुंदर दिन और इस सुंदर समय के लिए हम तुझे धन्यवाद देते हैं प्रभु तूने कहा है कि जहां दो या तीन मेरे नाम से एकत्रित होते हैं वहां मैं उपस्थित रहता हूं आज हम इसी विश्वास के साथ इस पवित्र जगह पर तेरे महान करिया का बखान करने के लिए यहाँ पर उपस्थित हुए हैं हे पिया हम आपके अपार दया और कृपा के लिए आपको धन्यवाद देते हैं आपका सम्मान करते हैं और तेरी प्रशंसा करते हैं क्योंकि तूने हमें यह खूबसूरत घर दिया है आज हम इसे उद्घाटन करने के लिए एकत्रित हुए हैं सर्वशक्तिमान पिता आपकी शक्ति और कृपा के बिना या घर का निर्माण करना असंभव होता लेकिन प्रभु आपने इसे संभव बना दिया है हे प्रभु इस नए घर के निर्माण की यात्रा के दौरान आपकी उपस्थिति को भी हम जानते हैं शुरू से आन तक तो हमारे साथ रहा है और बहुत सी कठिनाई का और संघर्ष का समान सामना करने के लिए भी आपने मदद की है इसके लिए प्रभु हम तुझे धन्यवाद देते हैं हे पिता आज हम विशेष रूप से उन सभी भाई बहनों को भी याद करते हैं प्रभु विशेष रूप से जो दुख तकलीफ संकट के समय कठिनाई के समय हम लोगों को मदद किए हैं प्रभु उनके ऊपर उनके ऊपर भरपूर आशीर्वाद दे यह प्रार्थना करते हैं हमारे प्रभु यीशु ख्रीस्त के द्वारा आमीन
की विधि को शुरुआत करने वाले हैं तो मैं रेवरेंड फादर प्रविंशल फादर जयशिलीन को आग्रह करता हूँ कि घर की आज का विधि को आगे बढ़ाए A very good morning, dear sisters and brothers, and a happy Easter to all of you. This morning, we, the friends and families, immensely glad to have come here along with you to inaugurate and solemnly bless this small home of ours. In the presence of our very reverend Father Anselmo, the mission superior of this region. Now. Already, we have commenced with the sentiments of praise, invoking God's presence and mistress. Now, let us all stand together and seek the blessings of God Almighty upon this home, upon this mission, and upon all of us gathered here. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty and merciful God, you are the source and the fount of wisdom. It is from you, this fount, that we drink and satisfy our thirst of knowledge. We beseech you to continue satisfying our hunger and thirst for the truth. We make this prayer through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. अध्याय सात वचन पंदर अठा हम मंदिर प्रार्थना माटे मारी खुली रहे कान सरवा रहे अत्यारे मैं मार नाम सारू आस्थान पसंद कर पावन कर मारू नाम सदा सर्वदा वर्षो कर से मारी आँखों मारो हृदय अहीं कायम जड़ाई रहे जो तू तारा वड़वा दावीद पेठे मैं मथे राखी चाल से हूँ जे कहीं कहूँ तो बधु कर मरा बधा निमों आज्ञाओं पालन कर से तू तारा बाप दावीद साथ करार कर मुजब हूँ तारी राजी कायम करीश मैं कहूत ईजरायल पर सदा तारो वसच राज्य कर प्रभु वाणी है Let us respond to this invitation from Christ as we approach the Almighty God with the prayers and petitions. तमारा जवाब प्रभु दया करी अमारी अरत सांभो प्रभु दया करी अमारी अरत सांभो सारे जगत में फैली हुई कलिसिया के लिए हमारे संत पिता फ्रांसिस हमारे धर्मा अध्यक्ष फिलिप नेरी और अन्य धर्मा अध्यक्ष के लिए और धर्मा प्रचारक तथा सभी पुरोहित के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं कि वे पवित्र आत्मा की ज्ञान और प्रेम से परिपूर्ण होकर कलिसिया की सेवा भली भांति कर सके इसलिए हम पिता ईश्वर से निवेदन करें प्रभु दया करी आज हम विशेष रूप से यहाँ पर उपस्थित हमारे पुण्य प्रांत प्रांत के प्रोविशियल रेवरेंस फादर जिसलेन के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं कि प्रभु उनको शांति और सदबुद्धि दे ताकि वह हमारे धर्म समाज को आगे बढ़ाने में सफलता प्राप्त कर सके इसलिए हम पिता ईश्वर से निवेदन करते हैं प्रभु हमारे दमन मिशन में कार्यरत सभी पुरोहित एवं धर्म बहनों के लिए विशेष प्रार्थना करते हैं कि वे अपने धर्म कार्य में प्रतुर कृपा और सफलता पा सके इसलिए हम पिता ईश्वर से निवेदन करते हैं प्रभु आज हम विशेष रूप से इस नए घर के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं कि प्रभु इस घर के ऊपर अपनी आशीष दे ताकि इस घर में जितने भी लोग प्रवेश करेंगे वे प्रभु की प्रेम और शांति का अनुभव करें 
इसलिए हम पिता ईश्वर से निवेदन करें प्रभु दया करे हमारे यहाँ पर उपस्थित सभी भाई बहनों के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं कि हमारे बीच जीवित प्रभु यीशु कृष्ण का प्रेम सदा बने रहे इसलिए हम ईश्वर पिता परमेश्वर से निवेदन करें प्रभु You know our rising and our going to rest. You know our needs and our hearts' desires. We in all humanity have voiced before you our prayers and petitions. Look favorably upon them, and if it is Thy will, grant them unto us. We make this prayer through Christ, Your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us join our voices as we surrender all our personal intentions. The words of Jesus as we pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Let us pray. Almighty Heavenly Father, the whole universe is too small to hold you. We thank you for having helped us to put up this small building, where we want your holy name always to be remembered and glorified. We pray that your showers of blessings may always fall on this home. May your angels always guard and protect this home from all evil. Bless all those who minister going to come and visit this home and work and benefit in and through this home. Bless that many may benefit from this home, especially through tuition classes and social works to the greater development of these people across here. We make this prayer through Christ, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
And I ask you to look favorably towards all who will utilize it, especially the children, students, youth and people. We entrust and consecrate each and every one of them to your son Jesus Christ. Keep them safe from all sorts of evil and in your loving protection and care. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, this home, and all those who are going to come here and live here and benefit from the ministry of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. स्वागत करना चाहता हूं सबसे पहले हमारे बीच में दूर से आए हुए आज के मुख्य अतिथि पुणे धर्म प्रांत के प्रोविंशियल रेवरेंड फादर जयशलिन सलवराज एमएसएफएस का दिल से स्वागत करता हूं फादर आपने अपने महोबलीय बहुमूल्य समय देकर हमारे बीच में आए और इस नए घर का आशीष और उद्घाटन किए हैं पर आपका उपस्थिति हमारे लिए बहुत ही मूल्यवान रहा है इसी स्वागत के साथ मैं रेवरेंड फादर संतोष कंसल्वेस एमएसएफएस को आग्रह करता हूं कि वह सोल देकर फादर प्रोविंशियल का स्वागत करें आई आई एम रिमाइंडेड ऑफ लिटिल स्टोरी वन डे a young man went to God. He was the shopkeeper there. A shop was there. And this man wanted to buy something from the shop of God. The owner is God himself. And he asked for one kilo of happiness, one kilo of success, and one kilo of hope. And God said, I don't sell fruits here, but only seeds here. Dear friends, as you know, all of us involved in various ministries present here. And the purpose of this home is nothing not to provide a great success or great ministries here, but to sow the seeds of happiness, seeds of hope, and seeds of life, life itself. And whenever I came, we always felt the loving touch, the warm welcome of our pillar father, especially for Anselm, uh, Anselo de Sosa <laughs> and last two years and we both of us laid the foundation stone together and both of us are here to inaugurate and bless the same home. Thank you dear father Anselo and I on this day also would like to thank the Archbishop of Goa and whenever you wrote to him or whenever we asked his support or whenever we asked for his blessing he was always ever ready to help us always ready to give us the blessing and because of his encouragement, the encouragement and the support of all the pillar fathers here, we could achieve this small home here. 
Thank you, dear pillar fathers, for all your support and encouragement. And though we work in 37 communities in six Indian states in Pune province and six countries outside, but something special we what we find here is whenever we come here, not only our conference welcome us, talk to us, but they always take our conference, take to the neighboring communities. And now we never find any difference. We are like all of us involved one ministry and all of us So when, whenever we came here, all of us, in the bus or in the previous administration, we always just talk about the heart, hearty welcome and warm welcome of all the fathers, sisters, and brothers. And we never felt like a strangers here. Last five years, I know I have been coming to this place. You know the previous administration who actually took the initiative of buying this land. So thank you, dear sisters fathers, all those who are present here, and because of here, we are here, and we are able to help one another. And I also like to thank the people, and all of us are here because there are people present here, and we are here to help them, and also to do whatever way we can do it. It is also said, though many people in the Bible wanted to build the temple of God, David wanted to build a magnificent temple, but God had a different plan, he wanted to build through King Solomon. And today, I would like to thank wholeheartedly Father Christopher. I know for the last five years, and he, he was in Germany, just came down, and he was used to all sophisticated lifestyle there. And came here with nothing, living in the rented house there, and on his one way, making friends with the pillar fathers, sisters, brothers, all present here. And he went through a lot of pain, even sometime, he wanted to give up, nothing is moving, and pandemic came in between, and he used to feel so bad. But always he said, okay, I'll give it, still I'll give it a try. So that way he went on going about. And today, dear Father Christopher, all of us present here, to acknowledge all the initiatives, of course, along with the support of so many brothers and sisters, and our sisters, brothers, and fathers here. So thank you all the hard work, efforts, and sacrifice you have made to put up this home. And also he himself on his own took, found some fund to build at least to care of two, two halls here, social work halls here. So without asking him, he himself made the efforts. Thank you. All that you have done, you are done here, going to do it. Surely will glorify our God himself. I also thank you. I also would like to thank Father Carbinos as a new priest. When I asked him, he immediately said, yes, I, I was doing some social ministries in my agency. And I also would like to go here and develop on the same skills of animating people, the social ministries. Thank you, Father Carbinus, for all your work, support, along with Father Christopher. And uh, having thanked each of you, and we are here, dear sisters, dear sisters and brothers, all of us here for one mission, that is to enhance the life of the people around here. And we ask you, we beg of you, continue to support us, bless us, and help us so that the seed that we are sown today may also become flowering, bearing tree, and fruit, fruit faring tree and thus all those people come here may find the shade of love the fruits of god's love the uh, what do you call the success of god's presence here so thank you once and once again to all of you god bless this ministry and i thank special lastly all our fathers present here especially from apostolic communities from nalasapara from danu and also from kurla all of them have come here to support and encourage Father Christopher and Father Karpinos. So thank you dear fathers, brothers, sisters, we are here. Let us work together to glorify God and enhance the lives of the people here. Thank you. Father Provincial, Father Jaisilan, Father Christopher. Fathers, brothers, sisters, uh, there was a big group you know, Abba, Abba, no? in 70s, 80s, 90s. And they had a song. Ha Gat, Vid Group Jala Mantat. Tanji Ek Geet Hode. Okay, Geet Tashe. I have a dream, a song to sing. Maja Madhe Ka Hai, Sopna Hai, Maja Ek Sopna Hai. And the Sopna, 
ते गीत गाण्याचे स्वप्न आहे तसे त्या गीताचे दोन पहिल्या ओळी मला वाटत येशूचे सुद्धा एक स्वप्न आहे आणि हे स्वप्न येशू ख्रिस्ताने मेल्यानंतर पुनरुत्थानाच्या नंतर त्याने प्रगट केले त्याने त्याच्या शिष्यांना प्रगट केले पहिले चला जगाच्या अंतापर्यंत आणि तेथे जाऊन सुवार्ता प्रगट करा आणि हे आहे येशू ख्रिस्ताचे स्वप्न आणि विशेष करून या काळामध्ये हे इस्टर व पुनरुत्थान काळी या स्वप्नाची आम्हाला परत परत याद येत आहे परत परत आठवण येत आहे आम्ही हळूहळू पाहणाऱ्या दिवसांनी येशू ख्रिस्ताचे शब्द ऐकणार ज्यावेळी येशू ख्रिस्त शिष्यांना सांगतो चला शांती घेऊन चला आणि सुवार्ता प्रकट करा येशू ख्रिस्ताचे स्वप्न ते आमचे सुद्धा स्वप्न सर्वांचे आणि ते स्वप्न साकार करण्यासाठीच तर आपण येथे तिथे जातो मिशन कार्यात आपण भाग घेतो येशू ख्रिस्ताच्या स्वप्नात सहभागी होण्यासाठी आम्ही पिलार फादर्स व सिस्टर्स व फ्रान्सिजन फादर्स येण्याच्या अगोदर सुमारे ऐंशी नव्वद वर्ष अगोदर व शंभर फ्रान्सिलियन व फ्रान्सिस्कन ब्रदर आले मूळपासून त्याने काम सुरू केले आणि नंतर हळूहळू हे काम सर्व ठिकाणी पसरले आणि आम्हाला आज आनंद वाटत आहे या येशू ख्रिस्ताच्या स्वप्नात व त्याचे स्वप्न साकार करण्यासाठी फ्रान्सिलियन फादर्स आलेले आहेत येथे आणि स्वप्न साकार करण्याच्या एका एका प्रोग्रेसिव्ह वाटेवर ते आहे सर्वांची स्वप्ने आपली एका शॉटमध्ये साकार होत नाही इन्स्टंटली साकार होत नाही हळूहळू हळूहळू होत आहे स्टेप बाय स्टेप जसे फादरने सांगितले पहिली जमीन घेतली फाउंडेशन घातले आणि आता हे लहानसे घर उभे आहे मिशन कार्य फार मोठे आहे आणि भरपूर करायचे आहे तर हे स्वप्न साकार होण्यासाठी आमची प्रार्थना विशेष करून फादर क्रिस्टफर आणि जे फादर इथे काम करत आहे त्यांना मी आज बिशपच्या नावाने फ्रान्सिलियन सोसायटीचे सोसायटीचे आभार मानतो पूर्ण जबाबदारी या मिशनची त्याने घेतलेली आहे आणि हळूहळू आम्ही पाहतो की येथे प्रगती होत आहे आज येथे घर उभे आहे आणि या घरामध्ये अपॉस्टलिक वर्क अपॉस्टलेट सुरू होणार आहे हो ते ट्युशन व काहीतरी पण हळूहळू होणार आहे आणि हळूहळू ती पुढे जाणार आहे ती प्रगतीच्या मार्गावर येणार आहे तर फादर प्रोविन्शल मी तुमचे आभार मानतो अँड आय ऑल्सो अप्रिशिएट फादर फादर क्रिस्टफ आय आय कुड सी ही वॉज वर्किंग इन अ ह्युमिलिटी सिम्प्लिसिटी गोईंग डोर टू डोअर स्पेशली दी ऑफिसेस इज नॉट इझी नाव डेज टू गो टू दीज ऑफिसेस अँड गेट युअर वर्क डन यू रिक्वायर लॉड ऑफ सॅक्रिफायसेस समटाईम्स यू गो देअर अँड यू कम बॅक एम टी हँड हँडेड you come back only with a promise and next time you come that promise is under the files and you have to restart again all over again and this such such troubles father uh, father christopher has gone through and perhaps we who are other side don't know much about it we are on the other what he called stage of the mission and we don't know and here he is at the grassroots level and making his efforts to make progress in this mission i wish him all the best and thank and appreciate him also and thank once again for the provincial for all your support for all your for all your uh, help and cooperation that you give by uh, shouldering the responsibility to make progress in this part of our mission may god bless you and bless your society thank you dear father provincial jc land dear father anselmo mrs superior 
your fathers, sisters, all the invited guests, children, brothers and sisters. Good morning to you all. We sincerely thank the Almighty God and Our Lady for the abundant blessings, constant guidance and support through which we could complete this project. On behalf of our Francilian community, I thank our provincial Reverend for Jay Sealand and the provincial administration for their constant prayer, help, suggestions and financial support. We thank our Archbishop for his prayer, blessings and support. In a special way, I remember our former Mission Superior for Agnel Rodriguez was a great support and he wanted to see the mission house in Morkel. We thank our present mission superior, Reverend Ferenc Lomo, and all the former mission superiors for their concern and support for this mission. I also thank our benefactors, Dr. Paul Mann and family, Dr. Knastel and family, and some of the friends, those who helped for this project. I sincerely remember and thank all my formators, provincials for their prayer, support and blessings. Dear fathers and sisters and brothers, without your help and support, we could have not completed this construction work at all. That is rightly in the beginning for provincial said. Many of you have helped me in your own way. Only a few could be honored here. Some of you are not present here. What you have done may be unnoticed and unseen. I sincerely thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. God will surely bless all those who helped me in one or the other way. I sincerely thank Tapara community, which was a great support in the beginning. Afterwards, the earlier Silvasa Parish community fathers, now that is Father Joseph Rodriguez, a parish priest, and Father Prakas, principal of Faragnil School, and Father Joseph from Massad, is a good friend and he ever ready to help and support me. He organizes today also the manda of food and everything. 